What's up guys, today we're going to be covering the Butcher's Western Pack achievements. Now there's four here, they're pretty easy to do. It should probably only take you about 15 to 30 minutes to get these done. And uh, I'll give you a quick review of what I think of this pack at the end. So to start things off, to get the scavenger uh, skeleton helmet, you just got to shoot and pick up 100 arrows. And uh, you don't even have to do the full draw animation as long as you press the mouse button down really fast. You can do this really quickly. It can be done on any map. Just point towards the ground. You can even do it on the safe house, which I'm doing it on right here. And yeah, it should take you about one, two, a minute and a half to do. And uh, it's pretty simple. So next up to get the cowboy hat and bandana, you just got to throw and kill three cops with a dynamite at a time. This can be done on any map. It's very easy to do. You probably will just get it through regular play. I guess the easiest way to do it is Watch Dogs Day 1 right after the truck. To get the Indian mask, you just gotta kill six cops with the revolver while hip firing. Uh, this one's probably the hardest one to do. Again, Watch Dogs Day 1. There's so many cops out there. When you start, just do it on normal difficulty. And uh, keep restarting until you get it. To get the Batman type mask, or I don't know what you call it, but um, you just gotta shoot a bulldozer. I guess the description of the achievement says with um, 10 arrows, but I only shot five. You just gotta find a bulldozer, so pretty much anything on overkill difficulty will spawn a bulldozer, but if you play on um, Hawks and Breakout, there's always at least one bulldozer, or even more. Um, so I only shot him five times and I still got it. And uh, yeah, that's all the achievements for this pack. Pretty simple and easy to do, and uh, you shouldn't have much trouble getting them. Now, what I actually think of this pack is, it's alright. It's the standard price, it's $5. And, uh, to be honest, there isn't really anything here that makes it, like, a necessary, you gotta buy it. I would recommend waiting for a sale, um, just because the stuff is powerful, the revolver is powerful, the new rifle is pretty powerful, the bow is pretty good, especially for stealth, but it's all not necessary to have at all. It's completely optional, and, uh, the revolver has got a really long reload time. It's got a, like, if you use the piglet from the last pack, it's a lot like that. So, uh, it's got high power, but with a big drawback, and uh, all of it's alright. The bow's pretty good, it's got a very high pickup rate. Um, it's good for stealth, and uh, I would say it's definitely worth having at some point, but nothing you don't need right now. You can wait for a sale if you want. If you go over to the official website right now, they have some kind of contest where you can enter to win this pack. And uh, if you'd like to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description if you haven't seen the official uh, advertisement site for this DLC pack. Alright guys, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. I've been kind of inactive lately, but didn't really feel like making any videos, so oh well. Uh, but yeah, I'll make some more. It's not like I'm gonna completely quit YouTube or anything. I'm just, I don't know, taking it easy. Don't really feel like grinding or anything. So, videos will come when I feel like making them, which I guess I'm gonna try to go for one, at least one uh, next week.